Ever wondered what the difference between a trust deed and a mortgage is? Grasping these two real estate financing options is crucial for making informed decisions. This video will elucidate the key distinctions, plus the advantages and drawbacks of both trust deeds and mortgages. Stay tuned to unravel the mystery behind trust deeds and mortgages. Let's dive into the world of trust deeds first. A trust deed, also known as a deed of trust, is a document that secures a loan on a property. The advantage? A faster foreclosure process, cutting down the time lenders wait to recoup losses if payments stop. The downside? Less protection for you, the borrower, as trust deeds don't require court proceedings for foreclosure. So, if you default, you could lose your property quicker. That's the gist of trust deeds, but what about mortgages? Let's find out. Mortgages, a term we hear so often but what does it entail? At its core, a mortgage is a loan taken out to buy property or land. It offers a significant advantage of more protection for the borrower, since lenders must go through the court system for foreclosure. However, this protection comes with a trade-off. A longer foreclosure process can be a drawback, leading to prolonged financial uncertainty. Now that we've covered both trust deeds and mortgages, it's time to compare them side by side. Trust deeds and mortgages, two sides of the same coin or are they? Trust deeds involve three parties, the borrower, the lender and a trustee, whereas mortgages involve only two, the borrower and the lender. With a trust deed, the property is held in trust until the loan is paid in full. Mortgages, on the other hand, give lenders the right to seize the property if the borrower defaults, but only after a lengthy legal process. Each has its advantages. Trust deeds offer quicker foreclosure processes for lenders, while mortgages provide more protection for borrowers. Understanding these differences is crucial to making informed real estate decisions. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to real estate financing. So keep learning and stay informed.